Good morning. It's fabulous. Friday, we made it through another week. Here comes the weekend, or weekend, here we come, either way. Today's September 18th, 2020, and it's day 24 of the school year. We've been doing online learning for 24 days. Well, we've come a long way, and we're doing some great work now. We're all learning, especially me. All right. Today is read an ebook day. That just means read a book on the computer or on a tablet or some digital device. And we're doing that every day. So make sure you read a book today to celebrate read an ebook day. All right. So I'm going to share a screen. And we're going to go through what we need to do each morning. Morning meeting, that's what this is right now. Make sure you've done your daily check-in so I can get you as being present that you are in attendance in online school. And remember yesterday we talked about being a good citizen. Being a good citizen online is doing your check-in and saying your Pledge of Allegiance and your positive behavior little chant that we do. So remember to do this every day. Okay, let's look at our calendar. Remember, we're counting and to see what the next date needs to go. So let's count together. Say it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we're going to pull eighteen up. All right, now let's look at this. Today is, we said it's Friday. We know what day it is today. Yesterday was Thursday, and tomorrow will be, what comes after Friday? Saturday, the first day of the weekend. Let's look at today's day. We do the month, we know we're in September. And we said today is the 18th, so we do 18. And we do our little comma, so we get the pencil and make a little comma, get back to the pointy finger so we can pull down 2020. September 18th, 2020. And this is the blank day of school. We said it was the 20, whoops, fourth. Remember, if you forget it right here, you can go to the next page and look right there it is to help you out. And then you can go back after looking. That's a little way of using what you have around you to help you out. So this is the 24th, we do TH, day of school. Now we're ready for the next page. And we know we have 24. Now remember, go back and think, what did we have on the previous days? We did this, 10, 20, and then we did 21, and then 22, and then we did 23, and now we need to do 24. And then remember we talked about which coin matched these, and we said it was, these match the tens, so we say 10 for every dime, we pull up 20, and we only had two tens, and then we had these ones, and we said pennies, match up with the ones. So we have four over here. So let's try pulling up four coins. Now let's count to be sure. Don't just assume you have it right. Let's count to be sure. So we count by tens for these two. 10, 20. Now we just add one to that. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and we match, so we're good to go. Now let's take the time to look at the time. Here we have six o'clock. This is the hour, so that means that's what this one needs, to, the short one needs to point to, the hour hand needs to be pointing to the six. And this is the hour hand, I mean the minute hand, sorry, and it's o'clock, the new hour, and whenever it's the new hour, the minutes are zero right at 12 to begin. And each one of these little notches here, I'll give you a hint, they stand for one minute. So this is zero and this is one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. 
So there's all those notches right there, those little dash lines stand for a minute. You'll learn that later on. But when you're at a brand new hour, it's straight up at that little thicker notch above the 12. All right, now let's go to our next page. I found this read an ebook day. And see, it's got a little tablet right there for like where you'd read it. Now, <clears throat> on your journal, remember you're going to do it on a piece of paper. And if you start running out of paper, I have some links for you to get to them. Even though when you do this, it says math worksheets, it's still going to be a worksheet that you can write a story on. It's made for writing a story with math, but it was perfect in how we need to use it for this. So if you don't, you could just do it on regular paper. That's fine. Or the paper that you got at the drive through If you need more, remember to let me know and I can set it up for you to come pick it up at school. So let's see what our journal is for today. Uh-oh, this is not right. We're supposed to be on Friday. All right, so let, let's just do a big X on this for me. Well, I'll do this. I made a boo-boo. I forgot to put on what your journal is, and that's my fault. But I don't want a video again. So you read what the journal entry is, and it's the same as always. You read, and then you write it after you read your prompt. And then after you've finished writing and drawing your picture, you take a picture with the camera over here. Click it. Take a picture and put it on there. Then you click on the microphone and record yourself reading it. I'm sorry that I messed up, but you all know the routine. All right. I hope you have a great, fabulous Friday. And I'm ready for the weekend. You all have a great time. And if you have any questions or concerns, please, please let me know. That's what I'm here for. Talk to y'all later.